Well, Austin police also shot and killed two other suspects this month. One happened at a shootout inside the Omni Hotel downtown. And that same morning, three officers shot and killed a man in North Austin. Police say the man pointed a BB gun at them, which was styled after police or military handguns. The shootings can also wear on the officers who fire their weapons. KXA and investigator Kevin Schwaller shows us what police face after they kill someone in the line of duty. Having to take someone's life being put in that position, you know, is a huge, is a huge critical event. Three of those critical moments have five officers on leave at APD. The officers now start the process of trying to get back to work, and that can take months. Commander Stephen Deaton was in a similar position in the early 90s. He shot and killed a suspect he says was reaching for a gun. But I actually did first aid and spoke to him. At first, it is the very last thing on your brain when you go to sleep at night, and it's the very first thing when you wake up. It's just such a big deal. Commander Deaton says APD worked to improve its support for officers after shootings during the last couple decades. Now that includes offering a peer support unit. It's hard to relate or to explain to somebody how you're feeling if they haven't been through something similar. And so our peers, you know, we have officers that have been involved in these incidents and they make themselves available. Commander Deaton also says APD is focusing more on trying to help officers' families. A staff psychologist is available for family and spouses are allowed to see officers sooner after a shooting. Kevin Schwaller, KXN, investigates. Each of the recent cases will have to go to a Travis County grand jury to decide whether the officers were justified in shooting the suspects.